Hello YouTube, this is Money and Kingston Gaming Sturdy. How are you guys doing today? This is going to be a tutorial on how to use and install PureBlock. Now, what is PureBlock? Let's use the website's description. PureBlock lets you control who your computer talks to on the internet. By selecting appropriate lists of known bad computers, you can block communications in with advertising or spyware oriented servers, computers monitoring your peer to peer activities, computers which have been hacked, even entire countries. They can't get into your computer, and your computer won't try to send anything to them. And best of all, it's free. Now let's summarize this. This basically means it's like an installable firewall which blocks certain IPs um, so your computer can't access them, and they can't access you. Which is really effective when you need to uh, do any peer-to-peer -peer sharing, like torrenting, or just general browsing. Now, now that you guys got that settled, let's try it. Let's do it. work on the installation. Please uh, use the links in the, bottom, in the description of this video, and go to the download screen which will promptly take you here. Just install the stable release. That's what everyone uses. Then just go ahead, once that's finished downloading, just install it. It's simple installation, it's just like any other program. Once it's installed, just open it up. It will update it and update the block uh, lists or even the client if it's needed. Then you can close it and you can open it. Either this window should open up by itself or you'll have to go to your taskbar and open it from there. Now this is pure block. Here's the client. As it says right here, it's currently blocking um, all of these IPs. 785 million. That's a lot. Now let's give you some of the shortcuts, shall we? Disable basically means you could just shut down pure block and it doesn't block anything. List manager lets you select what you want to, what lists you want to block. By default, peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, spyware, and advertising will be uh, blocked. You could also view those block lists, which we will do right now, just to give you an idea of what this is possible. Hmm. As you can see, a lot of this is a lot of this is being blocked, mostly Chinese stuff, because they do censor their internet. Okay. Let's abort that. I've already updated this. Close. Okay. Now, check updates as usual. It checks the updates. Allow hypertext transfer protocol. Um, if you're if you're browsing on the website and something is blocked, you could try to allow it, which is uh, by de by default is blocked, and it shouldn't interfere with most of your stuff. You can also see your history of what's been allowed and blocked. In this case, Archer Communications has been blocked for some reason. I don't have anything to do with them, but whatever. You can also clear your logs. Now let's move on to the settings. Uh, this shows you um, for the front window how many things can be shown at a time, I assume. I think by default it's either 10 or 12. I prefer to keep it at 15. Show allowed connections. If this is checked on, the connections you are allowed to connect will be displayed here in the front. Now by default it is checked off, so you don't lose any performance. But you could check it on so you could see it, but most people just leave it off. If it allows us, does it really matter? Why well, use the performance for that? Then you could change these colors too. Everything else can pretty much stay the same. Next shows these items. Alright. Once this window once the client is actually open, you're pretty much protected. Now let's test it. Say I want to download a torrent, for example. Let's try to and, uh, download Ubuntu. Let's open my downloads, which I have already downloaded this specific torrent. Now let's wait for my torrent client to open. In this case, it's uTorrent. Yes, I want to allow access. What a dumb question. Thank you, Windows. Yes, I do want to allow access. Hmm. There we go. Sure, let's save it as that. Okay, now it's downloading. Uh, most of you guys should already know how to do torrents and stuff. Let's let that do its thing. And let's check our peer block. As you can tell, whoa, what is all of that? Those are all IPs that have been blocked. In this case, it's Limelight Networks. And we have the big torrent guards and OVH SAS or whatever that is. 
in most cases when you're torrenting these would be considered to be um, anti peer to peer client um, clients servers computers whatever stuff that basically reports whatever's being downloaded with that now I have nothing to worry because Ubuntu is a perfectly it's a perfectly good program there's nothing illegal with it so why these are you in on it I have no idea but that's basically how peer to peer works or how peer block works for you it blocks anything that's connecting to you and you can't send anything to it so for all these guys know they don't even know that you're even downloading this program I mean sure if you're downloading like, something super illegal or hot they can still catch you with certain ways but for the most part that's how it works no let's say something that you do want has been blocked and you want to access it how do you do that well first you go to list manager add and here you can uh, type a description whatever you can add a file or even a URL whatever that URL is just go ahead and put it there and then if you want to block it I check you gotta check off the block if you want to add it or allow it so it does pass through you this firewall you click allow in my case I don't need anything so I, I'm not gonna do it why you would add something would be um, for example if you have pure uh, pure block on and you're gaming sometimes game servers are blocked by this for some reason under advertising or spyware even you're in peer to peer you would just add it there and it'd be no problem it would bypass it so hope this tutorial has been informative for you guys and if you have any more questions or concerns or just want to comment on this video you know where to put it in the comment description below um, like, favorite, subscribe, and share so everyone knows how to use this wonderful program. And I fully recommend it for, for anyone that's going to be telling anything off the internet. Now, this is Money Infinity from Gaming Sterity, and good night.